I'm gonna take a little five minute break. I really wanna push through and try to finish this thing today, so. There's this lump here that I need to try and remove, but this angle isn't right, so I'm gonna have to wait until later to do that, because if I try and do that, I'm just gonna overshoot or split this thing in two, and I really don't want that to happen. So what I think I'm gonna do now is try to remove, maybe I'll do a little bit more shaping first, but I wanna try and remove both ends to create that nice angle. Maybe I can remove a couple from here so I can get through some of this bad cortex first. Maybe that'll give me some better angles to take some flakes off here to get rid of this. I think I've done enough shaping to the bottom of the core here. It's becoming more narrow than I wanted originally, but I think I had to do all this to get this prepared. And if I remove some from both edges, it'll kind of bring this in a little bit. I'll end up with a lot smaller of a core than I originally wanted, but like I said at first, there was a lot of cortex on here. I had to get through most of it. And this is going to be a bad spot. I'm not really looking forward to what's going to happen there. Maybe I can take a little bit of it off here first. some of it. You kind of see there's a big void in here and I think that carries on all the way down to here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the initial platform preparation flake. It'll be Kind of a crested blade. A little too timid right now. Maybe the smaller hammer stone, it's a bit harder. Maybe it'll be better for this job. I don't want to take off anything too big. That's a start. off another one kind of going in this direction you can see that porous material does go through there a little bit come from this direction and try and remove the rest of that.
These angles are all wrong here. Let's go to this end first. Dull that down a little bit. Real bad. That was better. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this platform to try and remove something here. It'll probably wrap around and come out this side, but that would be okay, actually. use the antler and actually try and remove all of this from this direction that might be better Did not work at all. Way too timid with my strikes there. Hadn't swung that antler for a while. Should have practiced first. I always make that mistake. I really want to get rid of this, but I would be quite risky doing it with this angle, but I think I need to go for it.
I'm not going to be able to do more than that. But maybe I can come over here with a big hammer stone and try and get rid of it. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. I'm going to need to just take off a big flake along the top here. I think that's my only option at this point. Here goes nothing. That was so bad, it's not even funny. I tried to dive in there real bad. That angle was all wrong. Okay, well, let's just reshape this whole end of the core now. Try and get some decent blades off as I do.
This is embarrassing. Foiled again by the bi directional blade core. That got rid of that lump at least. I need to straighten out the top platform here, but these angles feel like a broken record, but these angles are all wrong. Yeah, there's the rest of that messed up area. The one flake I took off earlier tried to dive through. learning a lot about what not to do. I hope you are too. Maybe that can be the take home lesson here.
Lesson number one, start with a piece of obsidian that is free of faults as much as possible. Certainly boat shaped though, at least there's that. As badly as this going, as this is going, I think it's actually going better than the last time I tried this. Which is saying something about the last time. I think I need to take a small flake here so I can get a better angle and then try to get a larger one later.
Well, I think it's almost quitting time. Try and take something off here first. I keep doing that. One day I'm gonna learn my lesson. Bidirectional blade cores are becoming my nemesis. They are not as easy as they would seem. I think my problem is the top of my core is too convex. I need more, a little more concavity. Or if it, it's fine if it's convex, but my angle here wasn't right. It's causing me lots of problems. Now it's almost like this turtle back in the middle here that I'm never gonna never gonna surmount this way. some real ugliness in there.
Nope. Well. I really don't know when to quit, do I? Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's really not. What is this? Probably shouldn't post these videos, but in the name of full transparency and showing my mistakes. I think I will anyways. Maybe it'll help me get the next one right. Well, starting to gum together a little bit now. No, it is quite ugly still.
That's almost a, an epsilon or negative blade. I think if I do a little bit more work on this, I can make it happen finally, albeit much smaller and later in the process than I wanted. I've got other things I need to be doing today. I can't be playing around with this forever. I'm getting pretty tired anyways. This video is probably super long now, so I'm going to call this quitting time. It's boat shaped. I've got this platform, uh, I wouldn't say under control, but it's a little bit more under control than it was before. If I can prepare this platform a little bit better. I can take a blade off here, and then one here, and then follow these sharp edges. Try and set up some nice positive center blades with a nice, you know, triangular cross section, pointed end, pointed tip, straight profile. That was the whole point of these blade cores, producing blanks that were almost ready to go as projectiles. Just a little bit of pressure flaking around the base so it can be hafted with a long straight edge profile coming to a really sharp tip that did, didn't have to be retouched at all. Maybe I'll do a part three to this series tomorrow or the next day once I get the energy back and we'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me on this torturous journey. Hopefully you weren't too bored or sick of it. Probably telling me don't do that, don't do that the whole time. I know I sure was. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.